What's up, gamers? Welcome to the first episode of 15 Minutes or Less. Basically, this is a series where we kind of take a shot in the dark as to, you know, what game we're going to play. Today, we are playing Wizorb. Um, after seeing it in an article, I really got interested in it and wanted to play it. So, picked it up on Steam for about three bucks. Um, really, it was like two sixty nine, so it was a, it was a really great deal. Um, I haven't really gotten into it too much. I pretty much got into it to see the controls and it's your basic you know brick breaker controls so nothing too crazy intense you can use the mouse or the keyboard I prefer the keyboard just because the mouse my mouse sucks it's a wireless Logitech mouse so it's not very good but you know it's it's basically a cross between uh, an old 8-bit RPG and the brick breaker style of gaming where you have a little ball and you gotta you know defeat your enemies and stuff like that the game was developed by Tribute and they are based in Montreal. Um, as far as I can tell, this is the only game they've done. I was on their website and I couldn't really get to the game section. I kept trying to click on it, but it seemed like the link was either not working or dead. So, I mean, I guess it was both not working, but, you know, either they, it didn't link to anything at all and it was just there for show or the link was just broken. Um, this game is everywhere. It's on a bunch of platforms. Steam, of course, as I said, for $2.69. Um, and it's also on the Mac App Store. It's on Gamelith, Desura, uh, what other, what other ones? Gamers Gate and Xbox Indie Market had it. Don't know the price points for those. Um, I'll find them and I'll post them in the description below. But let's get into it. I'll jump into a new quest and we'll get this thing started. Alright, guys, like I said, this is a series called 15 Minutes or Less, so we have about 15 minutes to decide whether this game is good or not. So let's get into it. There are there are some um, different kind of twists to this whole thing. You have uh, magic to kind of help you out, and you also have monsters to kind of get through. That's kind of where the um, RPG tie-in comes from. And I'm just gonna warn you now: I'm not very good at these games like, at all. I'll try to get through as much of this before the, the time limit. Will you just die? I was gonna try to do voices for you. To hell with that. Yeah, okay, we get it. You want me to save your whatever. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't expect there to be actual like RPG elements to it. Talk to you. Terrible. Donate. Oh, I only have 300. What the hell? No. God damn it. No! Oh, shit! Damn it! God damn it. I just gave that guy 250 gold. How the hell do I get to the freaking action? I'm pissed now. I just gotta leave the town? What the hell do I gotta do? Let's leave the town and see, what we'll, see what's going on. Map. Clover Village. Let's go to Clover Village. Ah, here we go. Get into some gameplay. Oh my god, that was a terrible toss. Oh. Turned into a snitch. Wow. That was <laughs> probably the dirtiest thing I've ever said. Oh 
shit. Just get the two boxes. Thank you, this one. Get the other one. Get the other one. Oh, thank you. The magic adds a, a great deal to this whole gameplay. It's actually very useful. I'm interested to see what, um, what other magic I get. Alter K. Oops. I gotta have a song stuck in my head. I don't know where it came from. You ever just get a song stuck in your head? Like for no rant, for no reason whatsoever. The song I have stuck in my head is freaking I'm Blue, I think is the name of it. I'm blue, now that song. Oh, I win magic. Stay up there. God ah, damn it. What the hell is this magic? Dude, that was awesome. God dang it. Dude, this magic is cool. it anywhere, but I waste it because I'm a moron. I run out of time. You just stay right there. There we go. So yeah, I mean, not, not too challenging. I'm pretty sure the harder levels are, you know, harder, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's actually really fun. It's, especially for the incredibly low price point on this game. It is actually tons of fun, but, you know, will a game like this actually support a full Let's Play series? That I'm a little eh about, because it could get pretty boring just watching somebody play this style of game. Dude, I'm really digging the magic on this thing. Oops. As I waste it. Do some destruction ball. Shit. Oh, okay. Continues. I have continues. I'm good. God, I'm the stats on the side keep distracting me. Like I keep looking over there. I got that wolf teddy bear thing. Taking forever. Now I remember why I don't play these damn games. Oh my god. Get to the freaking boxes! Oh my god, they missed. I suck. Thank you. Jesus. I think I have time for one more puzzle. Oh, 
that was cool. There we go, get back there. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, bonus, huh? Let's try to finish this thing. Wow, they used up all my magic. biggest gripes with games these days is they're just so freaking easy. I don't understand why they're so easy. The music is actually really cool. I like the music in this game. It's very mood setting. Come on, two more blocks. Thank you. Just in time, too. Alright, guys. Well, that's it for this little pilot episode of 15 Minutes or Less. Um, the game is definitely fun. No, there's no doubt about that. It's a great game to just kind of jump into, release some stress, and, you know, if you, if you feel like challenging yourself and playing these types of puzzle games and this is a great one to get into I mean I, I really didn't have time to get into the story too much but I'm pretty sure you know the story is equally as important as the brick breaking aspect but you know it's a unique twist on the genre and it's really cool to see somebody go out of their way to develop a game like this so you know big thumbs up to tribute this game is actually really really fun now will it support a let's play I'm not too sure you know you guys tell me um, if this is something you guys are interested in you want to see more you know, more footage and, and, and more me. I mean, I know the commentary was kind of lackluster on this episode, but it's <laughs> it's really hard to do some commentary when I'm trying to focus on, you know, a game like this. You know, it's not just some simple game. It's something you really got to think about and really got to, like, try to figure out the trajectory of the ball and stuff like that. So it's a great game. Not sure if it'll support a, a full Let's Play series, but who knows? You know, maybe if you guys tell me to do it, I'll do it. Um, leave your comments down below if you have any ideas as to, you know, different games you want me to try out for 15 minutes or less, or anything like that. Um, we have a Facebook page. Uh, I'll put all the links down in the description. I'll put the price points down in the description, too, for all the different platforms this game is on. I'll even link it to the Steam store. But um, if it won't hurt you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you feel so inclined, you also hit the subscribe button. We're, up we're uploading videos all the time on this channel and our main channel. Our main channel, we do newsy type stuff, but um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Is this a game you would like to see a Let's Play on? Let me know, and I'll do it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Later. Looking at the keyboard, I was like, dude, fuck this. This is way too confusing. And it was funny because I was talking to somebody on um, the radio show that I've been on for the last...